Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. So this week we are doing a couple sidewalks around a customer's house. We are doing uh, two in the front that are connected. We're technically doing three in the back that are connected uh, from the back patio to uh, a shed to a driveway. I mean, it's gonna be a whole lot of sidewalk. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video. Stick around for the excavation, the framing, laying the rebar. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you then guys, thank you. Going into this project, we knew that the new sidewalk was going to go from the city sidewalk to their front porch, so it was going to be built up quite a bit. You can see off to the left that the old sidewalk kind of did this curving thing where it met up where the mailbox was. So first major step was building the area up to make sure that uh, the new sidewalk was on a good base. We had to bring in about six, seven inches of one and a half inch rock. After clearing out all the organic material and making sure that the sidewalk we were pouring over was stable. After that, uh, the we brought in some class six on top of one and a half inch rock, built up a really solid base. And then after we got our job done, the customer was gonna come in and redo the front lawn, build it all up so the base under the sidewalk wasn't gonna fall out or get washed away. You're going to be able to see uh, throughout the job that getting into the backyard was a real tight squeeze as in I had about half an inch on either side of the machine and then same for the buggy. Well, I was glad that we were able to make it back there but uh, you'll see throughout this video how I have to kind of take my time squeezing through. It wasn't hard. It was just a very slow process getting through the great gate, making sure that I didn't break anything. And anywhere we can get our machines in makes it a lot easier for us because that's less we have to do by hand.
All right, guys, everything's good to go. Excavation's done, forms are laid, rebar is laid. Let's take a look. Here's our patio where we're connecting. It's going to that building over there. It slopes a little bit that way, but it slopes to the side, so I think we're pretty good. And then we got this walkway over here. Got all the organic material out of this area, replaced it with uh, some rotabase. Goes around here, connects to the driveway. And then in the front, we added some one and a half inch rock under the road base just to make sure this wasn't going anywhere here it is guys i think total we have about six inches of one and a half inch rock and then two inches of road base on top of that the customer will be filling in the whole yard after we're done so this will only be exposed for a little bit you will be able to see the base under the sidewalk but well, there it is guys originally the sidewalk was going right through here but instead, we convinced them to go straight off the house, connected even with that porch. There it is, guys. See you at the pour. Hey, guys, pour day. We're good to go. Everything's ready. Concrete's here. Let's get it knocked out. We got the power buggy. We're going to be doing a little bit of wheelbarrowing. Let's see how it goes. See you then. My number is Megan. My name is Angel. Well, in Spanish, I call you Angel. Much gusto. Much gusto. Poquito español. No, poquito. Hey. 
Pues digo la gente, vengan peinados, a perfumados, porque... <risa> Cinta. Cinta. Hey, la cinta. Yo, what's up guys? Pour went well. Uh, we figured it out with the power buggy and the wheelbarrows. Got it knocked out. Poured 7 a.m., 4,000 microfiber. This actually does have color in it, by the way. It might look like regular concrete, but I'm gonna take the advice of one of the followers, subscribers on our channel, and I'm gonna give you guys a nice, clean, close-up look. Look at that, guys. You might even say we're professionals. I mean, don't, but like, Yo, it came out super sweet. We ended up uh, re-shining the edges and the perimeter and the joints. How about that, guys? Yo, look at that. Peep all that. All right, now we're going to run out front. <sighs> Got to jump over stuff a lot. So tomorrow we'll be back to strip the forms. Uh, almost all of this is going to be landscaped. The customer is going to be um, redoing the front yard, backyard. So we will see the base under the sidewalk, which won't look very great. But once it gets landscaped, it should work out just fine. Go through the gate. Close the gate. Here's this one, guys. Peep that. Tell me that just isn't gorgeous, guys. Little bit of reshining, the borders and the joints can make a big difference. Well, there it is guys. So next week we are off. We're not doing much. I'm just gonna be sealing my back patio and a customer's back patio. So that's gonna be a short video. Uh, besides that, thanks for clicking on the video. Hope you guys liked the whole project. See you guys next week.